Greetings and salutations, Entropians. Bob Silent here, and I am bringing you the latest news from Entropia Universe. First things first, we'll get into the latest Buzz Bulletin that came out yesterday. Developer notes number 16, buff improvements and more. A quick update on some of the adjustments and improvements that are currently in progress. Now this first one, buff improvements. Uh, there's a video on YouTube from Devastating Vodka Lindsay that shows how he can stack buffs and it's uh it's really good like if you could do it and you're high enough level to make it worthwhile you'll be turning in the profits right now we are currently working on further adjustments to buff stacking logic, which will address issues related to heal over time, buff renewal, unintended buff stacking, and more. One of the priorities of this effort is to restore previous functionality of healing tools with overtime effects. The current plan is to refine and test these improvements over the next 10 to 14 days and implement them as in a patch soon thereafter. Success rate volatility improvements. Starting within the next couple days and plan to last for the next 7 to 14 days, our balancing team will be testing adjustments to the manufacturing and mining systems. This says right here that basically, uh, while your odds of getting a really good loot are going to be lower, your odds of getting some loot are going to be significantly higher. Specifically, it says, in manufacturing, overall volatility will be reduced during the testing period while overall chance of success will be increased slightly. In addition, near success outcomes will return more of the initial input. In mining, overall volatility will be reduced during the testing period by increasing the size of the smallest possible claims. So, less high-end loots, more loots more frequently. This is probably good for the low-level players right now. Note, please keep in mind that these tests will inc incorporate macro-level changes to manufacturing and mining systems, and thus results in experiences for individual avatars and or small sample sizes may not differ significantly from the current settings. Also note that the overall macro-level expected return for these systems will be unaffected. Team Shared Hunting Loot Distribution our team is also investigating the distribution of hunting loot for teams and shared loot scenarios with an eye towards implementing a more equitable balance and engaging distribution of both stackable and non-stackable loot. We expect the improvements from this investigation to be implemented within the next one to two months after a full review and testing phase are completed. Now, I'm going to stop the news and talk about my opinion for a second because, well, it's my channel. I get to do that. I think that a percentage of healer loot in shared loot events would be good. But I don't think they really need to do much else to change the way loot's distributed. I think it's okay that players have to be aware that they're in shared loot or what, what their shared loot scenario is in their team. Because... Just not paying attention can cost you. And I think that's really kind of fair. Opinion off. Looter professions. Continuing with the improvements impl implemented in, looter two, in Loot 2.0, our design team is finalizing the details of exciting new group of professions focused on specialized hunting loot acquisition. These new professions will be added Animal Looter, Mutant Looter, and Robot Looter, along with several associated new skills, including unique unlockable skills for each profession. We expect the new professions to be implemented during the spring. I'm very curious about Looter professions. I want to know what skills will be involved in these Looter professions. Um, Lore Spade on YouTube has uh, theorized that Working on your scanning skills probably good. And he's probably right. A lot of the skills will probably overlap with scanning skills.
One moment, folks. Okay, now let's get into the normal part of the, uh, the broadcast. Globals for the day. Big bulk still on top. Their loot value is still going up. The number of globals is still going down. Is the event over? Uh, I wasn't actually participating in it, so I'm not 100% certain. I don't have first-hand knowledge. Uh, weekly mining stats. Listerium stone is still on top, and it's still going down. Listerium, our explosive projectiles is always on top in crafting. That's a nice Kerberos loot. That's 620 US dollars. Um, like, that's a good zinc loot, too. Um, <laughs> forget what I said about that zinc loot. Look at this thing on the top. Arianite stone. Whoo. Let's look into more detail in hunting. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of other stuff here. Oh, there's there's a legionnaire. There's I think that's uh one of the normal events outside one of the forts though. Uh, popular mobs. Big bulk still up there, it's going down a little bit though. Um, it's probably because the event's just about over, if not over. Uh, or people have just gotten tired of just shooting at robots and went back to shooting the stuff that they're, they were shooting before. Uh, <coughs> then there's Warlocks, Fefox, Pro Proteron, Aatrox, Kerberos, Caperon, Leviathan, Orly, and Aranatrox. Aranatrox has gone down. Orly has come up. Some of the things have changed a little bit in here as well. Argonauts all the way down here. I don't really get that. Like, Argonauts get hunted a lot. But I guess they just don't global that much. I get moderate, decent loots out of them all the time, but yeah, I don't get a global every t time I hunt them. Looking at mining. Getting some nice loots. They must not have started their loot changes yet. Although FOMA, FOMA always puts out good loots and so does Arcadia Underground. Like, And each one of these Arcadia Underground ones, they represent, uh, you get a share of 5% of all of these numbers. Mineral composition for the day. Iron stone, top in the list. Like I said, I expect it to actually go over Listerium stone pretty soon. Uh, then there's Listerium stone, Calderite stone, Narcanism stone, Belkar stone, crude oil, Balsarium stone, Melchior water, Zinc stone, and Ignisium stone. Now, whoever that guy is who found 88 globules on Zinc stone that I showed you the other day, that guy, that guy's doing really good. Zinc has some okay markup for what kind of markup you can get out of stuff while everyone is crafting explosive projectiles. Looking at crafting, I do believe I was talking about the explosive projectiles problem a little bit. 
See, the problem with explosive projectiles is you can buy them from the trade terminal, which makes it barrier for entry is really easy, which is why everyone's doing it. Um, you can just TT purchase the explosive project the 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 cube things you need to make the explosive projectiles, and then you can just sell the stuff right back too, and people who do really well get ahead and everyone else just kind of goes behind and has lots of globals. You can craft shrapnel, and that's one I didn't know about. You can, uh, there's plastic springs, there's somebody got, whoo, that's a nice one. And the Jester D1 is kind of a garbage gun, this is like noob crafting right here, and somebody got 142 US dollars on it. That's, that's a nice one right there. Kudos to ya. Today I'm going to go into detail on Listerium Stone, because it's been doing well and it's in the tops at the moment. Oh, somebody had a nice loot. Forty-six globals for this guy, he's got three hundred and six dollars worth of Listerium pulled out of the ground. In a month, whoo! That's that's healthy. And of course that put that person on top. They didn't get the most globals though. Here's 55 and that doesn't add up to enough loot to in the top. Lots of people hit really good single loots. They probably weren't looking for Listerium when they were doing it. Nobody's really looking for Listerium, you just kind of bump into it. But the markup on it's kind of okay, I mean it's like 103%, so it's worth making stacks of and selling on auction. People buy it, you need it for the daily crafting missions, there's a number of them that require list Listerium, so it's worth having. You're not exactly happy when you pull it out of the ground. Um, anyway, 